welcome to a new video it is your time with all things your time and i'm kind of like in a little rush so i'm trying to hurry up we are on our way to the gym it is saturday december 9th um we are going to our first gym class in georgia i've been here <laughs> four years last month and y'all know majority for those that have been with me for a while know that majority of my weight loss came from me working at home working out at home doing stuff at home um now i just want to tighten things up tone and everything like that it's raining y'all but that's the devil because the devil know that i am a homebody and all that and he would try to get me to think like any little thing to stay in this house but i'm bringing y'all along with me i'm gonna vlog my day because everything that i have prayed for since my time in georgia god has answered my prayers so i'm going to try to introduce you guys to my sisters i met some amazing women in my bible study group i have been going to this church now since may i want to say and my kids love it i love it um it's really helped out with my spiritual maturity so for that i'm really grateful thankful i'll tell you guys all about that um how i knew it was the church for me and all that so <clears throat> i'm gonna put this camera down take y'all to the gym with me and let y'all know how i do oh i did just want to give an update because i know the last sit down video i did i was talking about my anemia um I did have my procedure done uh, where they went in and removed a fibroid. They, I have a follow-up appointment on December 13th. So on my birthday, as a matter of fact. Um, so we'll see what they say. They told me to like try to take things light. So I've been just doing mainly cardio since my procedure as well as like arms and stuff like that. Um, so this body combat class i saw the description on the site and it mainly was saying like no lifting is um as far as the intensity is like a medium intensity class so we we shall see y'all we shall see what it's gonna give um if i have any discomfort i'll definitely you, you just gotta listen to your body so i'll see you guys in a little bit and, and y'all, just for the record, if I'm looking dog bone tired, I am. I'm a 4 a.m. morning girl. However, on the weekends, I like to sleep in. But the bags is bagging, honey. They they carrying the Christmas gifts, the groceries, and all that. So, and I forgot my coat, y'all. Like, yesterday it was so nice. Like, it was like 70 some degrees. And then today it's raining and 53 but y'all know i miss y'all i can get on here rambling 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 but let me go <laughs> Sorry. all right y'all so <laughs> as y'all can see this hair is sweated out that class was amazing as i was saying before i went into the class I normally um, go in and do like cardio, like the elliptical has been my thing. Um, I feel it like in my glutes and things like that, but I wanted to keep myself motivated to go. Um, so I'm glad that I did this class today because it just ripped the bandaid off and now I'm ready for a lot more. Um, so with that being said, um, I'm on my way to Audi. Uh, just to grab something in case I wants to make one of her friends like a basket for their birthday or like a little gift bag for their birthday. So I'm going to go there to pick that up. And then she also did an order for Fashion Nova, like um, with like clothes, a coat and stuff like that. And the stuff didn't fit. So we got to ship that back. But I saw a coat when we went to Target last weekend. Now, granted, it was a different location, but the coat was very cute way cuter than what she and we we have been ordering now for fashion over because she's been finding some good things they've been having some good sales but as a parent i'm not a fan of like the crop top coats like 
I, I'm not. And see, when you order online, you get the illusion or the vision of what that person has on, what that person looks like. I missed that term, but um, I think that was like the thing for her. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but everything that we see is not going to look the same on everybody. So, um, yeah, it just was like nothing, basically. Like, it was really nothing there. When I tell y'all, it was a variety of age range in that class it was amazing and it was i want to say 45 minutes maybe i don't know if it was an hour or 45 minutes but i ended up burning a lot of calories and i told y'all that i'm going out with my uh, well i'm going to um a friend's house tonight so i'm gonna have to do something to this hair i did get a little headband so i don't know if i'm gonna just slick it back or if i'm gonna wear it down because I don't like keep reapplying heat on my hair. But um, I am so looking forward to it. Y'all already know I love my kids. But my kids have literally become like my backpack. Backpack. And that's on Dora. And you just need a little bit of time um, to yourself. For yourself. Without the kids. Because like I always say. One um, trip with my kids go from. A trip with myself would be like $20 max. A trip with my kids it's gonna always go over that so yeah let me run into Audi real quick all right y'all so I'm back home I'm about to make me some breakfast it is 10 49 I'm also want to go ahead and start the process of making these cookies because I promised these kids that we was gonna make cookies and um I'm me no again with some friends and everything so i'm gonna try to get it done before i head out and um it's around five or whatever so i got time to make me something to eat make this batter for these cookies as well as it's so italian ricotta cookies i know it sounds crazy but i had this co-worker and my friend ranita that uh lived back in delaware and when i would tell you when i tell you she would make batches, like have a whole family. It's a whole tradition for her and her family where they make a ton of cookies, like hundreds, 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 hundreds of cookies. And she would give them out to like her friends, coworkers, and things like that. And all of the cookies be good. But this Italian ricotta cookie be on point. So that's what we're going to make. And I'm going to find a recipe. I know Pinterest has one, so I'm going to show y'all what they look like, and I'll be sure to post the recipe in the description box here as well. Tell her what waving to y'all. I got a new purse. She but, said she got a new purse. I got that for her. There's stuff um, in it. There's this. It's from Monkey Mommy. There's perfume. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all. There's so this is what they look like and they are so soft so we're gonna make them before i head out so i'll show you all what we do for that so this is everything that you're gonna need i first i was not gonna go to the store but i decided to go ahead and do so but i had to go to dollar general to get this baking soda you're going to need some baking powder. And we're going to make two types of cookies today. Some vanilla, two sticks of butter. I have some parchment paper, your all-purpose flour. This vanilla uh, pudding mix. I actually got a different kind. I didn't even realize I had sugar-free. Um, chocolate chips, powdered sugar, um, and these, then these sprinkles, which we're going to use these little ones right here for the ricotta. So I'm not even going to hold you. I'm exhausted from the gym. So I'm going to sit here and supervise the cookie making process. So Casey and Taylor are going to be busy at hand. It's down. Added in the ricotta cheese, 15 ounces. Then it calls for two, um, two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Y'all know what I want to try? I want to try that vanilla bean paste. 
but I don't bake enough. And when I went on there and they said that it was like a couple hours for a little container like that, I said, honey, I'll stick to my vanilla extract. And then um, mix all that stuff until well combined. We might gotta see if our mixer is back working because we didn't pick it up too soon, y'all. I really thought the cottage cheese was gonna be like harder than right now. Yeah, so you use that to make lasagna? Oh. Uh, it's up to you. You don't want to do a labor, girl. That's my girl, Casey. You say hi to the vlog? Hey. Y'all usually don't see her on here that often. I try to allow it, make it up to my kids whether or not they want to participate or not. Um, they wanted to make cookies and I wanted to give y'all content. So, so this it was a happy medium. No, because you didn't add the flour and all that yet. That just got, I was say, why is it so yeah, you still got to add the flour and everything. But, um, Jason, all my kids are good. Straight A's. You want to tell them about your math assessment? Tell them what grade you in? Tell them a little bit about yourself, girl. Tell them, honey. Let them know what God did, did honey. I was at a, a seven something, and I went to an eleventh grade in math. Tell them what grade you in, girl. They don't know you like that. I don't said, and then I went to eleventh grade in math. Okay, but you're not in seven, seventh grade, is what I'm telling you. So you have to say where you are. You're in fifth grade. Oh, I'm in fifth grade, <laughs> and then I had. What kind of test is this? It was a math test. For like the state? The county? county? I county. think it's for the county, yes. And she improved from a 7th grade level up into an 11th grade level. So my girl is performing at an 11th grade math level. I'm super proud of her. Her grandma, her late grandma, um, on her dad's side, her dad's mom, um, she was a math teacher. So she was younger, younger because she's still young. She was younger when her grandma passed away. Um, but I definitely have to say that that must come from her grandma. Shout out to my mom, Kathy, because <laughs> I might be at a third grade math level. Math is just not my thing. If it ain't, you're going to need a teaspoon of baking powder and a baking soda separately, but then we're going to add that to the ricotta mixture. And casing on her own. Usually we have the little chefs helping us out and they could be cleaning as she go. But mama's taking a break today. So what would you say is your favorite subject, Casey? Is it math? Yeah. Math is her favorite subject. Would you be a math teacher? You don't know? We'll see. You being rough, honey. Y'all know who this is. Tell them your name, girl. Taylor, and I got new bracelets. Tell her and what else they call you? Fletcher. That's your last name. But what what's your what else do we be calling you, girl? Two. Two. Two D Woo! I got new bracelets. Okay, so two, I promised her that she'll be able to come down and get the cookies ready to go in the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go wash your hands again. So tell her how to go wash her hands again, because you're all seeing her putting her hands all in her mouth to be making faces, but we're gonna do these about this size. And y'all see how it's sticky all on my hand, so I'ma let her finish this out. And if you're wondering why this looks like this, I just washed this pan and I put this on there so that it'll lay down. So it's just water adhering to the back of the parchment paper. It's down. So I just took the cookies out of the oven. We cooked them in the oven for eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Don't worry about the color. As you can see, they're starting to brown around here, but Italian ricotta cookies are on a lighter shade um, as compared to some other cookies. And we're not quite done yet. We're gonna make a um, icing to go on top. And you're just gonna need three to four tablespoons of milk and some powdered sugar and we'll mix that together. But I'm just gonna go ahead and let these cool for a little bit longer. And y'all, it kind of puts you in mind of like a biscuit, but it smells so, so, so good. So if you ever want a cookie that is not overly, overly sweet, of course you got the sugar in here, but it's not cavity sweet. And they're so good. It's down. Alright, 
so I am dressed and ready. Y'all, I got this headband from the Dollar 25 store, Dollar Tree. I still call it Dollar Tree, but it's the Dollar 25 store. And it said for ages three. But I'll be 39 in a couple days. So we ain't gonna talk about it. It had three in it, okay? Um, but you'll see I still got the tape in here. So y'all, I never got a nap. I never rested. I came home straight from the gym, made cookies, made dinner for the kids. And this was cute. Hey. Better y'all good news, Jordan. Um, hey. and I did just a little light beat okay. with, um, tinsel moisturizer. Like that is my go-to and the one that I use, hold on, let me go get it. The tinsel moisturizer that I, I use is by Laura Marcier and the color shade that I oh, use I is 4C1 Almond. So, Come on. Mm -hmm. good nice stuff y'all. And it's just like you put it on like lotion, you can use, I don't like it being all over my hands and it doesn't really transfer too bad, but I like to use my little sponge or whatever to like get like a real good even. And I did put on some milk primer, but I'm about to head out. I'll pick you guys back up if and when I find out if everybody's comfortable, but I'm bringing you all along either way.